Okay, so we have come up with a research question. It makes sense. It's not too fuzzy. It's focused. It's clear. And we are ready to do research. Great. What next? Well, I'm here to tell you the best way to do some Boolean searching, and we're going to learn it with a Venn diagram. So we're going to start with our question. And because we're having fun, we're going to research Pokemon. So our research question is, in what way can classifying Pokemon help a player find success in battle? The first thing we're going to do is find the main concepts in our question. And our main concepts are classifying Pokemon and ultimately we are talking about player success. Okay? So we have three main topics. If you'll notice, we have three circles. Let's draw a Venn diagram. So we have a Venn diagram. And we are just going to put our ideas from our research question into the diagram. Classifying, so we're going to call it classification. Pokemon and player success. Easy, right? We have three ideas. And now our job as a researcher is to find ways to find that data that will help us make our argument. So we want both synonyms for something in these circle, but we also want other things that have to do with it. It doesn't have to be a direct synonym. This is not a thesaurus.com moment. Okay, so when we're talking about classification of Pokemon, what are some things we might think about? We might think of the type. We might think of its level. We might think of its appraisal. Or we could think of some synonyms for classification. We could think of other words that might mean the same thing, like taxonomy or category or tags. Okay? These are all things that might get us to a similar idea as classification. Okay. What are things that might get us to the similar idea of Pokemon? Now this is a little more difficult because this is a proper noun and there might not be any other. But if we're classifying Pokemon, what, how are our Pokemon gathered? Maybe it's a Poke deck, right? So there aren't a lot of things that we could think of with Pokemon and that's okay. That means this search will actually be a little easier. Now, player success, what are things that might indicate player success? What are other ways to think about player success? And what is player success? Well, victory, right? <laughs> um, player success is levels. Player success is Increasing your Pokemon collection. So increase collection. I mean, after all, don't we have to catch them all? So, I don't know if you've heard me as I'm saying this over and over again, as we're going through each of these circles, but what word have I said a lot? I have said or a whole lot. That's going to be important. Now, when we are doing our searches, we are using Boolean logic. It's fancy. That's why we're talking about it as far as a Venn diagram. When you are comparing items within a circle, 
So things within a circle, in this case, things that are blue, in a circle is or. Okay? If we are comparing circle to circle, we are using and. And if we are comparing things that we don't want, things that live out here and we don't want in our search, we use not. Okay? Now, here's the fun part. Our searches automatically do this for us when we use an advanced search in one of the databases. When you open up an advanced search, there are squares where you would plug this in. So anything that is in a circle is an or, and it goes in one line. Anything that is not in that circle goes in another line with the word and between them. Now, lines could also be parentheses, boxes, circles, depending on what database you're using, but the concept is the same. So, we are going to search two circles at a time. If we search three circles at a time and we get a whole bunch of articles, this goes back to what we just talked about with the research question. It's not a research question because somebody else has already done it. So we're gonna try, we'll pop it in, but we've already done the work. So we know that this is a solid research question. So we're gonna do level to level. So we're gonna do classification or type or level or taxonomy and Pokemon or Pokedex. And that is gonna give us a certain set of answers. Then we're gonna do another search and we're gonna do taxonomy or classification or type or category and levels, player success, victory, Now, we're going to do this one more time, and we're going to do Pokemon and player success, or Pokemon or Pokédex, and player success, or levels, or victory, or. Now, you would see that sometimes this search would mean we weren't searching Pokemon at all. Maybe we're Maybe we do the search that's classification and player success, and we get Magic the Gathering. We get another card-based game where we would do the same kind of thing, right? Does that mean that article isn't any good because it doesn't mention Pokemon? Spoiler alert, it does not mean that because the same principles would apply to Pokemon. A quality deck in Magic will do the same thing as a quality deck in Pokemon. So you can pull those principles from one article to the other. It is okay if it doesn't have all three. In fact, it's really good because that gives you a chance to do the best part. This is you. This is the answer to your research question. And a one sentence summary of your answer is your thesis statement. And so by quality searching, using Boolean logic, we have found this. Now, this is where the not comes in. What are we not looking for? say that in this case we actually don't want anything about Magic the Gathering because it is too many results and it's clogging up our, our results page. We can say not Magic the Gathering. Maybe we don't want anything about the Harry Potter phone game. Maybe we only want things that are having to do with the physical deck of Pokemon and we don't want Pokemon Go.
we can do any of these as a not. And it's the same thing in your advanced search. It's one of those bubbles or boxes or circles. You fill it in with the word not in front of it. And that is going to eliminate those things from the search. So this is how we use Boolean logic to make a really good search. Here's a pro tip. These two processes are interchangeable. <clears throat> if you are having trouble coming up with a research question, start with a Venn diagram instead of the major things you want to investigate and then use it to construct your research question or use your research question to construct your Venn diagram. You don't have to do these in order because at the end of the day, research is not linear. Research is cyclical. And so everything we do feeds our searches and feeds our research question and any of it can change at any time.